All right, release day Tuesday, once again. I, I just love being just riddled with brand new game releases, you know, in, in such a short amount of time. It, it's just awesome. It, it really is, it really is awesome because I like being able to, you know, have have a lot to do, but it keeps you busy. It doesn't doesn't make you bored at all. So what we are picking up today is what Microsoft says is their biggest like system seller that they're touting for this year. This is the reason to get the Xbox One, as everyone knows. Um Yeah, it's it's Titanfall. Now it's the first uh, game from the guys who really brought Call of Duty to where it really is today. And uh you know, here here we are. How long ago was it from Modern Warfare 4? Modern Warfare 4, Modern Warfare 2, the original Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 4. The original Modern Warfare came out in 2007. So that would be seven years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seven seven years. It's been since the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Jeez. I'm, I'm old. <laughs> I remember playing that game with my friends, and let me tell you something, that, that was when multiplayer was like, you know, amazing, and you used to cherish going online, and you really don't have that feeling anymore. At least I don't have that feeling anymore. You know, when I, I'm not, there's no really, I'm not really excited to go online anymore. It's like, oh, this game has multiplayer, and multiplayer is fun, that's great, but there hasn't been a game that's really just been, you know, such such an experience as the first Call of Duty Modern Warfare was online and Modern Warfare 2 was also a great game online that was unfortunately brought down by a lot of hackers but you know it, it is what it is I'm really excited about Titanfall I'm excited to jump into a brand new game um, I was playing it a little bit last night which uh, some of you guys might be wondering wait you, you're picking up the game how you're playing it last night well Peter Moore, who is the president and CEO of Electronic Arts, all right, he was having a contest on his Twitter page. And basically, it was like a questionnaire thing. He asked some questions. Whoever answered correctly first got Titanfall for free on PC. And uh, he asked a question. The, the, the question was, what was the resolution of Titanfall on Xbox One? Um, on, on Xbox One. And, you know, as we all know, as you should know, it's 792p, the same as the Titanfall beta. So it was like 792p per cent, and I actually got, I actually won. Like, I, I was the first person to actually reply to him. So Electronic Arts followed me on Twitter, and they gave me, um, they, they sent me a code for Titanfall on PC, so I downloaded it, and I was playing it for about an hour last night on my PC, and let me tell you, that game is a lot of fun. I mean, it's unfortunate because there's only five game modes. There's only five game modes, which is like, uh, you know, as a multiplayer only game, you only have five game modes. There's, there isn't really that much variety in game modes. Now there's supposed to be more added, but what I'm wondering is, do I have to pay for more game modes in DLC? Or are you just gonna add them free with updates and patches? I really don't know, but yeah, I, I won Titanfall on PC. Um, for free, and I was playing it um, yesterday at like you know nine o'clock at night, nine ten o'clock at night for a good hour, and uh, so here I am picking up the game. I'm actually purchasing it for the Xbox One, and uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see how it goes. This is pretty cool because I was I was kind of going back and forth which version should I get, PC or Xbox One, and I played the beta, and the game looked better on Xbox One, and there are some people on Xbox One I wanted to play with. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I was also leaving some people that, that I wanted to play with on PC, and, uh, it was kind of unfortunate because, you know, I'm not, I wasn't going to buy two copies of the game, you know, I don't have all this, this money to just throw away buying two copies of the game, um, but it, but it all worked out, you know, I, I have the game on PC, and, uh, it's, it's all working out, but, uh, see, EA still gets my money, because here I am going to purchase the game for my for myself even though I already have it for free the full version it's digital I'm not a big digital person I want the physical disc that's also another thing that's kind of motivating me to go do this but you know it, it is it is what it is so 
Should be good. Should be really good. Um, it's right now 11.30 a.m. I got off school a good half an hour ago. And it's, uh, apparently, um, my parents were out last night and they said people were lined up at GameStop. So I don't think there's going to be much of a line at all. Especially, you know, a lot of people went this morning. So I think it's going to be fine. And people are also in school today and they don't get out till like, you know, they can go pick it up on their lunch break or something, but that's not until like another hour. So I should be fine with, uh, there not being a line or not being a wait or anything for this game. I think the people who wanted to pick it up as soon as possible already picked it up. So I watched the reviews for this game. It's been getting great reviews. That's awesome. You know, I enjoyed playing the beta. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy playing the full game when it release. You know, when I get it, my hands on it. Or actually, wait. I'm going to enjoy the full game when I have more time to spend with it. That sounds better. But yeah. We're going to see. We're definitely going to see. Should be a lot of fun, guys. I'm going to go pick up the game. I'll see you guys in just a quick moment. Alrighty. Titanfall, here it is on Xbox One. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. I'll see you guys back at the house. We're going to be unboxing that and uh, setting up and doing the first impressions. See you guys. All right. All right. All righty. Welcome back, guys. Um, so, yeah. Pretty cool. Oddly enough, there was no pre-order incentive for this game. Like, usually... You know, GameStop's all, all like, you give us something or we're not selling you game, your game. You know, most retailers are like that. That's why you see a lot of pre-order incentives, is because it, it's kind of forced upon by the game developers from the retailers, because they gotta, you gotta give them an incentive to, uh, for customers to come in their store and get the game from them. But there wasn't any uh, pre-order incentives for this. Oh, actually, wait, yes there was, there was a poster. While supplies last, and I went, 12 hours after the midnight, everyone who went to the midnight launch got the poster basically, but it's fine. I, I don't want a poster. I, I have posters up here. That I don't need a poster for Titanfall, but anyway, here's the game on Xbox One. Let's go unbox it. Microsoft. All right, so here we are. Titanfall on Xbox One. And uh, let me just flip you guys up here just to show you guys. Yeah, see it's right there. That's the PC, it's already installed, but Anyway, so yeah, I, I did, uh, the reason I got this game on Xbox One over the PC originally was just because I had people on Xbox One I wanted to play with, and I also, uh, the game looked better. On, from, I was playing the, the beta, and the game looked better on Xbox One than it did on the uh, the PC at the settings I was running it at. So, I mean, I can't, I can't play the game on insane textures, I can only play it on... Uh, very high textures, and the game does look gorgeous. It's, it's a great looking game. But I also wanted a physical packaging, which I was going to get for PC originally, but I changed my mind. It's a good thing I didn't get it for PC, because then I would have been stuck with two PC copies. And actually, it would have been great for you guys, because I could have either sold it. I could have sold it, which is probably what I would have done. Or I could have done like a giveaway. But the problem with doing PC giveaways, a lot of people don't even have access to PC gaming. Um, you know, it's it's kind of like an exclusive, very small market of gamers out there. Gr granted, the PC market has grown significantly over the past years, but you don't you're not going to reach the type of audience that that a console would normally have. So, regardless, let's take a look at the game. All right, so the game case we have our awesome Xbox One packaging with the green. Got a picture of the time with a uh, soldier, pilot, whatever you want to call him, looking out into the distance. EA, Respawn Entertainment, and it does say on the package here, requires Xbox Live Gold. It is a multiplayer only game. There is no single fucking way you can play this game single player at all. You can't even pr set up a private match and just roam around the maps by yourself. There isn't that ability. Regardless, um, that is the front of the case. It looks pretty cool. Let's check out the back. All right, the back, here we have the future of multiplayer games, says Game Informer. Um, 
yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's a lot, a lot of hype surrounding this game. You know, this is from the COD 4 guys. That's, that's the game that pretty much pioneered the multiplayer genre, the multiplayer genre for quite some time. And, you know, Call of Duty has basically, you know, it's, it's ruffled a couple feathers, uh, you know, uh, recently with people and its fans and it's not changing and it's just Call of Duty. Call of Duty is Call of Duty, and you just gotta accept it for what it is and play the game. If you don't want to play the game, then fine, don't, don't don't play the game. But but you know this, every year we hope for a change. That's that's not gonna happen. It, it's just it's not. You gotta you gotta just set, say all right. It's Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty. That's just the experience it's gonna give, and that's fine. Just enjoy and play the game. All right. So IGN says believe the hype. You can believe the ignorance as well. Um, it has over 75 E3 game awards. It's pretty cool. And then we have pictures on the back. We have a, a Titan here that's blowing some shit up and then a pilot who's wall running. This game is rated M for Mature. So all the Call of Duty kids, that means that this game is not meant for anyone that's 10 years or younger. If you're over 10, then that's fine. Your parents will probably just buy it for you anyway, even though they shouldn't. But it has blood and gore, strong language, even though I don't know how it has strong language since you know, there's very, I mean, dialogue pops up in the game, but, I mean, I don't know. It, it is what it is. And then violence, of course. Just stay away from the violence, man. All right, that is the front of the case. Take a look inside. All right, so inside the case we have our discs. Remember that Xbox One games are weird, and they want their discs to be on the left side of the case. Very odd. Again, it is what it is. I'm actually looking right now at my on my computer screen. There's a Witcher 3 wallpaper that just popped up. Witcher 3 got delayed to February 2015, people. Yeah, it sucks. It's depressing. But it is... I, I keep saying this. It is what it is. <laughs> All right, but you do get a two-day Xbox Live Gold trial. Again, it is what it... <laughs> I'm messing with you guys, seriously. You do get a two-day Xbox Live Gold trial. That's pretty cool. I would have liked a week, or two weeks at least, but two days is, I mean, you have 48 hours to play the game or else you can't play the game ever again. It's cool. My code's on the back there. Um, then we have Battlefield, and after Battlefield Premium, I mean, what, uh, I, I don't play Battlefield 4 anymore, some people do, but anyway, yeah, and then we have our instructions and stuff on the back of the case, that's pretty cool. So, I mean, there you have it, guys. That is the unboxing for Titanfall. So let me reiterate, I'm moving, I'm moving my chair back here. Let me reiterate what's gonna happen. I'm gonna, as I'm editing this unboxing, I'm probably going to be installing this game on my Xbox 360, all right? I'm gonna turn it on right now. All right, uh, uh, once you guys see the unboxing uploaded, that would probably mean I'm recording or I'm actually editing my first impressions of the game. So there will be an unboxing, which you're seeing right now, and after this, there will be a first impressions of the game on the Xbox One, all right? Not on the PC. Um, after that, on Thursday, I plan to do an hour gameplay video to have something, I'll probably have that upload on Friday or maybe even that day on Thursday. So expect an hour gameplay video, again, probably on the Xbox One. I doubt I'll do PC footage unless I'm playing with a bunch of friends and we're doing something specific. I don't know. But here's the problem. And next week we have two releases. We have Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Alright? And you can disregard the video. If, if, you're, if you want to watch the unboxing, that's the unboxing. You guys can leave if you want. But if you want to hear what I'm doing next, please stick around for, for the rest of the video. Um, so we have Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes on Tuesday. I'm picking that up on the PlayStation 4. Again, an unboxing will come, a first impressions will come, and hopefully I won't beat it in 30 minutes. <laughs> All right, after that, we have later that week for a worldwide release is Infamous Second Son, the big PlayStation exclusive that's going to be rivaling Titanfall this month on the Xbox One. Um, so the PlayStation, uh, so, so Infamous Second Son, again, another unboxing on Friday, and then my first impressions on that, on that, uh, uh, that, that same day as the unboxing. That, that, that same weekend that infamous uh, Second Son comes out, I'll probably be doing an hour gameplay. It's probably gonna take me a long time to beat infamous Second Son. I'm expecting around 25 hours um, since I think that's around the same time the first two infamouses took me. It was around 20, 25 hours. So, I'll be spending my time in that game, gonna be playing that. 
All right, and then basically the month, the ne the week after that is Deus Ex: The Fall, which is like sort of, sort of a mini release. Not not, not not many people care about. All right, so with Deus Ex: The Fall, we playing it on PC. It's already pre it's already uh, pre ordered. It'll be a first thirty minutes of that. All right, and then there's also that Bioshock DLC that's coming out. I'm not doing videos on that. I don't have the capture set up for my old Xbox 360. I wish I had all the DLCs for the PC version of Bioshock Infinite, but I do not, so I'm stuck with its Xbox 360 port. Um, April is looking weird, all right, because we have Daylight, which I'm definitely getting. However, I'm, I'm very... I'm wondering which version of the game I should get. Because on PC, Steam has it for $10. You can pre you can pre-order it on Steam for $5 off. That's pretty damn good. $5 off on Steam. And you get the soundtrack. And you get exclusive bonus items along with that. So, but the problem with the PC version is that it's running on Unreal Engine 4. This is one of the first Unreal Engine 4 games. So it requires 16 gigabytes of RAM and a graphics card that I'm guessing is pretty high-end. Meaning that my GTX 560 560 Ti may not cut it at 1080p, 60 frames per second, all on max settings. I hit the camera right there. Um, if that's the case, I will probably be getting it on the PlayStation 4. That way I'll have trophy support for it. Hopefully PlayStation will do a similar deal where they have it for 33% off, and they are also um, giving you the soundtrack or something with the pre-order. I tweeted PlayStation, I said, you guys should match Steam for this deal because Steam makes it incredibly difficult to buy from anyone else with their deals as low as they are and their exclusives um, as many as they have. So, that's how it's going to go, right guys? You'll see a, a, a channel update for uh, April, when, when we get to April. But until then, that's how it's going to go. I will see you guys for the first impression videos coming up right after this. And then, this Thursday, or Friday, my first hour gameplay. I also want to do a video talking about the Watch Dogs graphics controversy, because I think there's some misconception going around, uh, going around with how Watch Dogs looks how 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 it, it's very it's it's a very difficult situation because this has been done before but people don't seem to recall that this has been done before but i'm going to show you guys that this has been done before and that no game when it's shown at e3 is going to look as good as when you pop it into that console it's, it's just it doesn't happen like that all right i'll see you guys later for more content please uh I don't know, just, just enjoy what you're watching, I guess. If you don't like this video, well, there's a nice thumbs down button over there. You can press that. It gives me a thumbs down. It makes your voice heard. However, your voice might get a little suppressed over the 20 plus likes that I might be getting on this video. What the hell is wrong with me today? Have a good day, guys. I'll see you guys for the first impressions.